Hi, this is Rafael, director of the upcoming film for New Blue Effects. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create uh, this amazing title using elements found inside of Tyler Pro, inside of After Effects. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to the layer menu, or you can right click and add new solid. It doesn't matter what color. Um, go ahead to go to the effects tab and go ahead and click on Tyler Pro. You want to go ahead and jump into the library. And into the library, you want to go into Main Titles. Now, I want to select this title right here because this is uh, has all the elements that I need. Now, I'll be making a few changes to it so it fits my needs. So I'm going to double click. And go ahead and scroll. A um, couple of things I want to do right off the bat is eliminate some of these transitions because I don't need them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just click on the drop down menu, select a transition, and, so, and select delete transition. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, do the same thing. Okay, so now we have what we need. So now I want to go ahead and click on the now, and I'm going to change that to pow. And maybe add an exclamation, so a couple exclamation points right there. Now I'm going to change this font because uh, I wanted to f the font to look a little more gamey. So I want to go ahead and go to style, go to font, and I want to choose, let's see, this one right here. There we go. I also want to change the color of the font. So I want to make this purplish. Same thing over here, maybe more like, there we go. That looks good. So now I'm gonna go into the star and I'm pretty much gonna leave the star the way it is. I am gonna however change the outline. I wanna make that white and also the color of the star itself. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose something there is a that's a little closer to the pow. There we go. That looks that looks good right there. So I said okay. Now I'm gonna jump back into After Effects. So here it is. So right now it doesn't look very impressive, but here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and create a camera. Now I want to make sure I use a wide angle camera, and I'll show you why in a second. So go ahead and click the 15 millimeter. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the orientation of the camera by hitting the C button and make it maybe zoom out a little bit more. I gotta find the spot exactly where I want. There we go. Something like this. So now I wanna go ahead and open my keyframes for position by hitting P. So this is where I want it to end. Now I'm gonna go back a couple frames and I'm gonna zoom out as much as I can. And then let's see what that looks like when I play it back. Pow! There you go. I mean, it's that easy. I use elements already included in Tyler Pro and modify them a bit to create this title that's reminiscent of the Batman TV series from the 60s. So it looks really cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you, you know, just keep in mind that Tyler comes with a bunch of assets that you can always modify and change to fit your needs. Thanks for watching this tutorial featuring Tyler Pro 6 in the upcoming film Scrub. If you'd like to purchase or download a free trial, visit newbluefx.com slash tp6.